Hey friends, are you an oxymoron? <laughs> I know you probably think I just said something really bad about you, but let's talk about it. So I just called you an oxymoron. <laughs> And I'm sure a lot of you are probably really upset with me. But listen, I didn't say anything bad. I want you to listen what an oxymoron is first. Let's define the word oxymoron. An oxymoron is a contradictory term in, within itself. I'll give you an example. If I would say deafening silence, well, the only way you would go deaf is from too much noise. But when I say there's a deafening silence, that's a contradictory term. Like the two words contradict each other. Or I would say old news. Usually news is new. That's why it's called new. It's not old. So old news is a contradictory term. How about this? Ready? Big shrimp. You ever, you ever go to a restaurant and order shrimp and they have big shrimp? Those two words are kind of contradictory to each other. Well, Paul uses an oxymoron in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, and he calls them, he calls the Corinthians something really strange. He says this in verse 1, And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual, but as to fleshly people. Or one version says, as to carnal Christians. <laughs> carnal Christian, get it? That's the oxymoron. Paul calls them a carnal Christian. He says, wait, you're supposed to be spiritual. That's what being a Christian means, right? You're spiritual. You hear the Spirit of God. You're born of the Spirit. You listen to the Spirit. You're more in tune to the Spirit. You live by the Spirit. Well, Paul said this, he called them carnal Christians. Carnal means fleshly, right? You ever have chili con carne? Carn means meat. He says you are meaty Christians. That's contradictory. That's an oxymoron. Later on in the verse, in, in, chapter, in verse 3, he says, you're acting like mere men. And the Mirror Bible says it this way. He says, I don't even know who I'm speaking to you anymore. I thought you guys were Christians, but I'm talking to mere men. In other words, this, we're not supposed to act like mere men or women. We're supposed to act like Christians. Well, how do Christians act? Good question. You see, Paul goes on and says, there's divisions among you. There's envy. There's strife. Guys are arguing with one another. You got cliques. You know, you say, one says, I am of Apollos. Another says, I am of Paul. He says, we all belong to Christ. He says, why are you guys arguing with each other? Why are you so fleshly? Listen, if you find yourself in, in strife, jealousy, envy, these are all works of the flesh. Paul said this, and you know in 1 Corinthians 13, he says, walk in love. It's the greatest thing that we can do. So don't be an oxymoron. Don't be a carnal Christian. Walk in love, walk by the Spirit. Amen. I hope this blessed you. We'll talk soon. Hi, my name is Artie Kasimas. Thank you for watching the last video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, Hit the like button, share it with your friends, and by all means, subscribe to our channel. We have many more videos coming out. They're going to be short, sweet, to the point, just the way I like them. They're not going to be long sermons, but they're going to be full of the Word of God. Also, we ask that you consider becoming a monthly partner. Go to our website, www.wordalive.us, and go to the Give tab. And please remember this, Jesus is Lord, and He's coming back real soon. God bless you.